Butternut squash. Let's go for it. Hello. Here we are again for another cooking video. No script, no nothing, just pure improv. So bear with me. Today we'll be making a butternut squash soup. I have my butternut squash, small one, leek, three onions, a few carrots that I had laying around. I also have some garlic. Garlic. And the idea for today's soup, it's quite simple. I'll roast two of the onions. One of them, I'll golden it in the pan before adding the soup. I might also add a courgette, which is also laying around, so why not? And I guess we're in for a soup. So guys, thanks for, for joining me today. Uh, I've made this soup in the past, although I'm not sure if I use the oven and it's easy. Just start off by prepping the vegetables and here you can see me chopping down my butternut squash. I got this at the grocery store, not a big deal, it's a small one and you just have to open it in half, remove the seeds. You can save these seeds for drying them out, having them as a snack, replanting them. I'm not saving them here, I'm just going for peeling it. I got my garlic, I got two onions that I'll also roast in the oven, and now I'm just opening the onions, not peeling them at all, just keeping the skin as it is and placing it on a baking tray. I lined the baking tray with some aluminium foil, this will save me some time cleaning up. And I'm also adding a courgette. The courgette, I'm not going to peel it. I washed it thoroughly, just split it in half and place it in the baking tray. Add your salt, your pepper. I went quite generous with the pepper here. I do like my pepper. And then sprinkle it with olive oil or drizzle it with olive oil. Into the oven it goes. I set my oven at 170 degrees Celsius and I let it cook for 30 minutes. In the meanwhile, while the vegetables are roasting, I prepared a bunch of garlics and a couple of onions that I'll put on a pot and I'll just let it cook on very low heat just to sweat them as much as possible and golden them slightly. I've added a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper and that's pretty much it. So keeping it very simple and in this way you are pre-cooking all these vegetables beforehand while the other vegetables are roasting. Now to the leek. Uh, my last soup I chucked most of the green part of the leek. This time my mom watched the video and she said oh I also use the green beet it's very good just wash it thoroughly and it should be very good. Uh, and that's what I did. And I've also added a bunch of carrots. Now I could have roasted the carrots too. I didn't this time. And I just sweat them along the other vegetables. And here they go. With the remaining vegetables. Now you see this is quite a lot of volume and if you take into account the other vegetables that are in the oven it's pretty much going to overflow but it's fine because they'll reduce down quite a lot. I've added a bit of curry for taste and chili powder. I like my, my bit of spice. This is optional and you can pretty much put whatever you want. Now the vegetables are in. I'm sweating them in the in the pot and now I turn them around. After 30 minutes the vegetables are pretty much done. As you can see, the, the vegetables in the pot, they reduced quite a lot and they're steaming up nicely. So now it's just about getting them out of the oven and peeling them as best as possible and separating all the stuff. Now, I have to say, these, these were quite hot and uh, from on hindsight, I would have waited a bit uh, before handling them, especially the butternut squash which was quite tough to peel because it was so hot 
and if I had used my hands it would have been easier but nonetheless it worked fine I got all that pulp separated from the skin and I got it all together in a bowl now I've added all these roasted vegetables in the pot added some water this is hot water from the tap just to speed up the cooking process although mo most of the vegetables are thoroughly cooked I just want to make sure that everything is properly cooked added some more salt a bit more pepper a drizzle of olive oil and I let it cook for 20 minutes Now, as earlier, lining up the baking tray with cinnamon aluminium foil does make it easier. Cleaning is done, 20 minutes passed, everything is thoroughly cooked, and now onto the blending. I speeded up the blending quite, quite a lot, but I blend it till silky smooth. Serve it up. I went for a generous portion, I was quite hungry. I garnished it with yogurt. This is a vegetable yogurt cream and for some crunch as I mentioned with some some peanuts. Having that soup. Now this soup is pretty easy to get together as you've just seen. The fact that most of the vegetables go in the oven makes it really easy to peel them especially the butternut squash which which the skin is quite tough and in terms of flavor well you end up with a super I love it you end up with a, a really nice creamy texture if you add a bit of yogurt or cream it makes it even better if you have some peanuts like I did well it helps in the crunch as you know crunch super important and if you're enjoying my content Make sure to like and subscribe. I've been doing a few shorts with my cat, Nyushki. Those have been the most popular. I also have a few shorts with uh, Pudin. This is my hognose snake. And I plan to put up a video with basic care for hognose snakes. So subscribe if you want to see that next. And I'll try also to get a video together about catnip with some cool footage of Nyushki drooling in some fantastic catnip. Thank you now. Check out the ultimate vegetable soup. Thumbnail should be somewhere in your screen by now. Thank you guys. Bye.